Welcome to Land of House, I'm Seth. So, I just got up this morning on a Tuesday. It's not raining yet. And look at this ram pump I just tested out. Single waste valve into dual delivery pipes. <laughs> that video is coming out here in a couple of days. Really fun. So, uh, I've got a number of things I want to accomplish today. And uh, I'll bring you along for some of the behind the scenes stuff as I go along. Uh, Ashley and I stayed up late last night watching Walking Dead, so uh, I know it's years after the show, but we are uh, not caught up yet. Uh, okay, uh, I've already built pressure tanks for ram pumps. I need to pre-drill stain and connect legs to the queen size bed frame I'm building. It's going to be an all wooden leg model because all my previous videos have had the metal legs. Uh, also, Ashley and I have been kind of updating the house a little bit. Kitchen is getting a remodel and we want to do some updating to Emma's room, my daughter. So I'm gonna be building her a uh, bed as well. It's gonna be a canopy bed, so it should be fun. Uh, that's not today though. Uh, so I just tested out this ram pump, which you will see here shortly, having the, uh, the dual output. Uh, fascinating. Interesting results, too. Stay tuned to that. Um, micro hydro pin stock. So in the previous video, I, well, I think I showed it to you, yeah. Um, I've been installing a micro hydro system sponsored by um, Langston's Alternative Power. Um, so a lot more on that to come. I'm going to be posting that series uh, back to back. So I'm doing all the work up front and then going to post it as I come along. But basically the mountain that's behind the house over here has 150 foot of drop at about 20 gallons per minute that comes rushing back down to the woods over here. And uh, today, I hope to get some of the pin stock connected. There's 1,100 feet of two inch pipe that needs to be put together. Uh, okay, I'll put my list away. Um, oh yeah, so playhouse door. I've got this playhouse over here that I'm building for my kids for the past like year. <laughs> and uh, I've got the door started. So I need to get the trim on that, put the handle on, and that may be a thing I do today. Even if it rains, I can go up under there and work. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I think I'm gonna do the queen bed frame last because if it is raining, I can go into the shop and work on that. So next step is the micro hydro pin stock. The two inch pipe comes out of a 55 gallon barrel at about the midway point. And I need to support that because the weight of the two inch pipe coming down the mountain may pull out of that barrel or uh, just weigh down and break the connection. So I'm gonna be hauling up a couple of four by fours and probably um, maybe some of these one by fours to make kind of a, a stand to support that pin stock. So, Let's bring the four-wheeler around here, load this up, and head up the mountain. I think I have all the tools that I need. I loaded up this one four by four. Let's see, got some PVC cement, tripod, saw. Uh, oh yeah, so a while ago I started um, trying to find a way to keep the four-wheeler from rattling. The air intake pipe comes from under the seat to right here along this piece, and it just rattles. It's so annoying. Uh, so. I never could figure out a way to stop it, so uh, hacksaw. I just cut off about a half inch of that pipe and uh, it's good to go. All right, let's go down here, grab the uh, other lumber and head on down to, head on up to um, the intake of the hydro system. I got these three smaller blocks of four by four and one that's maybe, I don't know, five and a half, six foot and then a couple of these one by fours to maybe make the uh, cross pieces. If I need more than that, I'll come back and get it, but I think that's gonna be fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and ride up the mountain and go ahead and get this installed. Made it up here to the intake of the micro hydro. It is working very well. I don't have a five gallon bucket with me to test this, but I guarantee that's more than 20 gallons a minute. Uh, so two inch pipe can push about 40 gallons a minute maximum. So I'd say we're pretty close to that. Well, 
after I catch my breath from walking this hill, I'm going to start this project, uh, or the video for the uh, pin stock install. I've already filmed several things, but anyway, I'm going to get started here. Nothing about this two inch poly pipe has been easy. Bam! <laughs> A friend of mine gave me this big jumble of wire here. I just pulled one piece out. I think it's going to be long enough to go from the solar panels to the house. Yeah, which is only like 30 feet maybe. Um, so I'm just going to be using uh, 8 amp, 135 volt, I think is what it is, um, open circuit. So all I need is 14 gauge wire because it's rated for what 16 amps maybe and this will only hit eight so it should be fine but yeah so let's just say from there we're going to come straight down to the house yeah so yeah that's more than enough wire to get what we need here oh man what a nice busy day um so i didn't get to the playhouse but i did get the uh, ram pump video filmed and all of the pin stop for the micro hydro. I'm back inside now, hanging out with Mr. Arrow. He's eating some chicken nuggets and some blueberries. And then Emma's over here eating some chicken nuggets. It's been a pajama day, hasn't it? <laughs> but uh, anyway, tomorrow we have some uh, peel off, stick on, laminate kind of, um, it's kind of a, a marble color I suppose we're gonna try it it goes on the countertops it's supposed to last for a couple of years um, that way we can kind of save up and afford some real tile or, or a real countertop as well so countertops going on tiles gonna to be replaced and the kitchen will be very white um, so an upcoming video I'm going to be uh, making a bed frame for Emma it's gonna be a canopy style so I made this one uh, about a, two years ago I guess a year ago um, so Arrow will take this bed and then Emma will get a full-size bed we're gonna get a different dresser and a side table and just kind of step up her room from being um, three-year-old room to like a little bit older kid um, since she is getting closer to four years old I don't know these things my wife tells me what we're doing, so, but uh, anyway, uh, I may bring you for some of that tomorrow, so I won't close out the video just yet. Well, it's nine o'clock the next day. I am exhausted. Been a uh, full-time dad today, going around town with the kids and getting some errands done, and uh, just really tired. Um, we got the pendant lights up in the kitchen for Ashley. She likes them a bunch. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog. Um, but before I do, I got something exciting in the mail. So you know how it rained for almost four months straight on Tuesdays? And I complained about not being able to film. I decided to go ahead and get a GoPro 8 uh, Black. So... A little costly, but it was, I think, $50 off with all of this stuff. So, um, yeah, the little tripod, the uh, head mount. I already have one of those from the old uh, GoPro 4. Um, but anyway, extra battery, and then the Hero 8, which is waterproof. So I can just take it outside and not worry at all about having to keep the camera out of the rain. I'm still going to use the G7X for my filming, but uh, I just want to keep that one for uh, emergencies and fun shots. Um, I've got to make four uh, ram pumps to go out tomorrow, and then I've got 32 that I have to make this weekend. Man, just so busy. All right, um, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will see you next week for another exciting vlog. All right, bye.